in from verse 8 to 12. Hallelujah. If, as long as you can stand, I'm going to ask you to stand for the reverence of the word of the Lord. And it reads thus, Will a man rob God? Yet he have robbed me. But he say, Wherein have he robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. He are cursed with a curse. For he have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bringing all the tithes into the storehouse. That there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, say the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, say the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for he shall be a delightsome land, say the Lord of hosts. Deacon Campbell, to pray for the night's tides and offering. Let us bow ahead. Eternal, most holy God, King of all kin, the Lord of all Lord, the conquering Lion of Judah, shall break every chain. Lord, as at this time, about to call it the offering and tithes from the hands of your people. I pray, O oh God, that you bless those who have to give. I pray, provide for those that don't have to give. Lord God, that in due season, we have to give, give to your cause. We thank you for health and strength. Lord God, I pray, continue to bless us, that we give it a willing heart, that your name be glorified, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And your tithes in your right hand, and you're going to lift it towards heaven and repeat after me. As we give our offerings today, we are believing God for jobs or better jobs, raises and bonuses, promotions and benefits, deals and better deals. Houses and lands, cars and limousines, checks in the mail, debts demolished, bills paid off, sicknesses to miraculously disappear, and the return of everything that the enemy has taken from us. And we seal that with a hallelujah shout. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The King Jesus Pentecostal Choir will now minister for the lifting of same. Somebody worship the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hurry up. Get ready. Kushama. Cheko shata, tu shanda ko shata, tu go. prepare way beyond the blue sky it must be some wonder affair 
never seen my mortal lie. Soon and soon he's coming again from his heavenly throne to meet our king in his holy domain. When he come to claim his own, you better hurry up, hurry up, get ready to go. has gone a home to prepare way beyond the blue sky it must be some wonder of fear never seen but more to learn soon and soon he's coming again from his heavenly throne to meet our king in his early domain when he come to claim his own you better hurry up hurry up Ready to go if you want to ride on the glory cloud with the Savior and his chosen crown. Get with the hurry up, hurry up. Get ready to go. Lord, church, you better hurry up, hurry up. Get ready to go. No hope to prepare Way beyond the blue sky It must be some wonder up here Never seen my mortal eye I know soon and soon he's coming again From his heavenly throne To be our king in his early domain When he come to claim his own You better hurry up Hurry up Get ready to go If you want to ride on the glory train Chosen crowd, you better hurry up Hurry up Get ready to go One more time, you better hurry up Hurry up Get ready to go If you want to ride on the glory train Yes, with the Savior and His chosen Worship! Hurry up! Get ready to go! One more time, you better hurry up! Hurry up! Get ready to go! Church, if you want to ride on the glory, yes, with the Savior and His chosen crown, you better hurry up! Hurry up! Get ready to go! Church, you better hurry up! Hurry up, you better hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, you better hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, worship, you better hurry up, 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 you better hurry up, you better hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Jesus, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, a hurry up, a hurry up. Lord, you better hurry up. Lord, you better hurry up. Lord, you better hurry up, a hurry up, a hurry up. Yes, you better hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, a hurry up, a hurry up. Lord, you better hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, a hurry up, a hurry up. You better hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, a hurry up. One more time. You better hurry up. You better hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Worship the Lord. Church, you better hurry up. Lord. You better hurry up. Get ready to go. Elder 
mullings and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hurry up. Get ready to go. If you really want to ride on the glory train, there is a prescription. There is a ticket. There is a gate pass. You must. It's not a maybe. You must be baptized in Jesus name come on put your hands together put your hands together for the Lord I honor the Lord tonight as my source I greet the holy angels of the Lord that are encamping in and around this place I greet my own general overseer and Bishop Winston Royal Baker, give the Lord a praise for what God is using him to do in our lives. I greet, praise God, Bishop Williams, praise God, give the Lord a praise for him, praise God. Praise God, God has been good. I greet all the other officers, deacons, missionaries and ushers and choirsters and musicians and saints and visiting friends. I greet you all in the mighty and all-powerful name of Jesus Christ. At this moment, we're going to ask Bishop Williams just to come and greet you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Come on, somebody just lift your hands and give God the praise. Hallelujah. Somebody glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in the presence of the Lord tonight? Are you happy to be in the presence of the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. If you have a praise, come on somebody. Open up your sanctified mouth. Open up your mouth unto the Lord. With the voice of triumph that we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greetings to you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. I greet your apostle, Apostle Winston Baker, Elder Mullins, all of the officers of this wonderful ministry. It is a privilege for me to be standing here with you one more time. I have not been here from 2018. And at that time, I think you were still by Patrick City. But I said to myself, I wanted to be here tonight. I close our church just to come and worship with you guys tonight. Hallelujah. And it is an awesome privilege just to be in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. I'm looking for a blessing and I know that God has something in store for all of us. God bless you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Come on everybody stand. Everybody stand and give the Lord a shout of praise. Come on open him out and give the shout of praise. It's time for the word. It's time for the word. Receive the word from our general overseer and Bishop Winston Royal Baker. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead. Keep those hands clapping. Show your head back and release a strong praise tonight. He's ready to be praised from the rising of the sun. Come on, warriors. You can do better than that. Jesus Christ is worthy to be praised. Come on, warriors, open your mouth and give God a better praise. He's worthy. Come on, somebody. He is worthy. He is worthy of all our praises. Come on, somebody. When you walk into the presence of God and you begin to give God a real praise, not from your head, but out of your belly, angels got to fold their wings. Come on, warriors, give God a better praise. He deserve, He deserve all. Heaven and earth, and earth adores Him. Angels prostrate before Him. Come on, somebody, give Him a better praise. He's worthy. 
the Lord is worthy to be praised. Reach your neighbor now once a neighbor, my good neighbor. Glad to see you tonight. You're at the right place at the right time for your miracle. Come on and sing my little bit and say, glad to see you in the presence of the Lord. The devil didn't want you to be here tonight. But you are unstoppable. Come on, warriors. Give the Lord an unstoppable praise tonight. Come on, somebody. Give him an unstoppable praise tonight. The apostolic ministry is an angelic ministry. When you are born of the water and of the spirit, angels are assigned to you. Come on, somebody. Give God a stronger praise than that. Give the Lord a stronger praise than that. All right. Reach a few people, look them in the eyes and say, Tonight, tonight is your night. Tonight is my night. Tonight, the ministry of angels. Come on, tell them the ministry of angels. You tell them you are under angelic ministry. Clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. Come on, warriors. You can do better than that. Say something in here. While you remain standing, please turn your Bible with me. Turn your Bibles with me to Exodus 25. Let's look at verse 8 and Revelation chapter 8. Exodus 25 and Revelation chapter 8. God is a good God. Let me take this privilege first to greet the Spirit of God, who is Lord of my life, who take me out of nature's darkness and place me in his marvelous light. So tonight I'm here to magnify him. I'm here to give him a good praise. Uh, hallelujah to God. Yes, my God. I can see that. Yes, there is a cloud moving all over the building. Shaya Basaya. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I greet all the holy angels that are in and around this building tonight. Send forth to minister to them that are years of salvation. Greet. Bishop Williams, and those are saints that come with you, and saints praise the name of the Lord, greeting the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Overseer, Elder Terence Mullins and all, pastors and evangelists and missionaries and deacons and choir and musicians and technicians, multimedia personnel and all saints of the most high God, visiting friends, I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Uh, hallelujah to God. Can anybody feel a move in this house? Uh, hallelujah. Exodus 25. Verse 8, take out a verse, are you there? God speaking to Moses. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them according to all that I show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments we are of even so shall he make it so god have the original in heaven 
and Moses will make it after the pattern. Oh, Jesus, where is the worshippers in here? Huh? Let's go to Revelation chapter 8. Let's take out a few verses. Let's take it from verse 1. Revelation chapter 8, verse 1. Are you there? And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw seven angels which stood before God. And to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the priors of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense which came with the priors of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it in the earth. And there were voices. Somebody said there were voices. And thunderings. And lightnings. And an earthquake. My God. The angel took fire from the altar. Pour it in the earth. And there was voices. And thunderings and lightnings and the earth shake it quake there was an earthquake father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we are here before your presence into your house please holy spirit trust me with your anointing one more time give me unction to function in your house tonight let your efficacious blood soak from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Have your way in this house tonight while I preach. Move, deliver, save, set your people free while I preach. Fight on behalf of your church. Give victory to your people. Please, Holy Spirit, arise tonight. And let all our enemies be scattered. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands and shout a hallelujah. Before you take your seat, I want you to look at somebody dead in the eyeballs again and tell them, neighbor, the apostolic ministry is an angelic ministry. Come on, tell them the ministry of angels. Clap your hands. Come on, somebody, clap your hands, open your mouth. It's an angelic ministry. Slap that seat and say, I'm under an angelic ministry. And sit down in the ministry of angels. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. I want to talk to the church a little bit because I struggle with what to preach. I struggle with what to preach because sometimes in my preaching I lose a lot of persons and as a preacher who carries the discerning of spirits and carries the people of God in your spirit when you are preaching and uh, the people the people of God are not coming in the spirit you can feel it but then the Lord said to me, son, your ministry is not just in these four walls. Yes, he said, son, there are hundreds and thousands out there that you need to preach to. 
So I stopped by to tell the members in the church, buckle your seatbelt and come on, let's go high. God wants the church to move from level to level. Then you shift from, the dim from levels and move into dimensions. God wants his people to be up there. Hallelujah to God. Deep call it unto deep. And the deep things of God are in the deep places of God. Uh, he said to them, it's time to launch out in the deep. Because that's where your miracle lies. I want to talk to you a little bit because here we see in Exodus something to place in the wilderness. Because God delivered Israel out of Egypt and he promised them the land of Canaan. Which later is called the land of Israel. Yes, and God now said that while they were in the wilderness, God called Moses and said, Moses, I want you to build me a sanctuary. He said, I want you to build me a tabernacle. And I told you about the tabernacle. The Hebrew word is mishkan. And it means a dwelling place for God. Mishkan, Mishkan, Mishkan. Build me a place where I can come and I can spend time with you. A dwelling place. I want to become your neighbor, Mishkan. Uh, but for me to be your neighbor, you got to learn how to be a neighbor with your neighbor. Until you become a neighbor to your neighbor, I cannot be your neighbor, good Samaritans. I want you to understand that God said, Moses, I want you to build the tabernacle according to the pattern that I have shown unto thee. In other words, what Moses built in the wilderness hallelujah was thus a shadow of the heavenly temple yes I want you to understand that the tabernacle that he erect in the wilderness was a shadow of heaven I go back a little more because the tabernacle of God was with man before the fall so before Adam commit that sin, God dwell with man. Heaven and earth collides. That's what the word paradise means. Paradise is the Greek word for Eden. And the word Eden means God's presence. It's where God dwells and so in the garden of Eden there was fellowship oh Shia heaven was with man taking five right there and so God says to Moses I want to bring back that fellowship that's my mission my number one purpose this is my plan I want to come back and dwell with mankind because man was made in the image of God. Oh, Jesus, help me on. I want to preach this piece because uh, I want the church to understand that when you become a citizen of the kingdom of God, you are not alone. But the heavenly bodies, they now dwell with us and until you understand how to function and to understand that you are a man man ish is a spirit man don't have a spirit oh touch your neighbor tell him man don't have a spirit man is a spirit that have a body and possessed a soul you are as you see i was lying on the bed and i said god why is man so important 
And he said, son, man is the only being that goes up. Every other being comes down. All right. That one is too hard. I tell you, I, I got to be careful the things I say, you know. Oh, Jesus, because uh, all the angels got to come down. But man is the only one that have the ability through the soul to move up the ranks. Go up and go meet your God. That should soak one month and you will get it. Oh, Jesus. So the Bible said that God said to Moses, I want you to build me a Mishkan, build me a sanctuary, build me a tabernacle. The tabernacle is the plan of salvation. The tabernacle is the shadow and it's what God used to bring back man into fellowship. And so he said, I want you to build it according to the turn which I have given to you. Can I take five minutes and run through the different instruments and the different levels in the tabernacle? Huh? The tabernacles have three compartments and he called it the outer court, the inner court and the holy of holies. God tell Moses that he must separate the tabernacle in three compartments. Call out here the outer court. Call here the inner court. And here is where God is going to come and meet man. Holy of holy, so come in with me. Outer court, Jesus come and say, I am the way, outer court. I am the truth, inner court. And I am the life, holy of holy. Only five man, come on, take a time. You're coming with me. And so he said, All right, watch this. I want you to put seven. I want you to put seven come, uh, instruments, put seven furniture inside of it for me. You're coming with me. And the seven instruments, the seven uh, furnitures, it's God showing man how far he is from man. God is way down here. But salvation is to bring you back into God. Bring you back close to God. And so in order for you to reach the idea, seven stops you got to make. Seven levels you have to go. Seven dimensions you have to go. Are you coming with me? All right. Can we take time now? The seven furnitures, the seven dimensions. If anybody's going to serve God, you've got to go through this. He said, I want you to build me the tabernacle. And I want you to put a border around the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Put a fence around the tabernacle. And anybody's coming to serve me have to come to the tabernacle and the tabernacle have a court an entrance there is no gate so when God said build me the tabernacle he said put a fence around it but then there is no gate there oh sure all right so when you come inside, now you come through the way. Somebody said, Jesus call it the way, no gate, no the way. And you come through the way. And when you come inside the fencing, you're coming to the tabernacle. Now he said, when you build me the tabernacle, no put no door on the tabernacle neither. Tell somebody there's no door on the tabernacle because no gate must there because Jesus is the way. And when you reach the tabernacle, no door must there because Jesus is the door. Come on, man. You come. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, we are not at infant, in, infant school. This is not kindergarten. Come on, man. You're... So he said, All right. You come true. You pass the way. Jesus is that. You come to. The door, Jesus at the door. But outside, before you come in, there is an altar. Can I take five minutes? 
can I run? I'm going to try my best. Five minutes. So when you reach there, there is an altar. Somebody say an altar. And it's a brazen, a bronze altar. And it's outside. He said, anybody coming to me, me, you got to stop at the altar. Tell somebody the altar. And this altar is a bronze altar. Anytime you read the Old Testament and you see bronze, it means flesh. Come on. Tell somebody bronze and brazen is the same thing. So what you see in the, in the old covenant, you see bronze or brazen. It means humanity or flesh. So when he said, make me an altar, and he said, you must put it outside. It means a flesh. It's where flesh die. It's where a sacrifice must make. Uh, I'm taking five. So anybody's going to serve God. When you come in the way, you must stop at the brazen altar. Some sacrifice has to take place. Something got to die. So when Jesus came on the scene, he said if any man mm -hmm, is going to come after me, he have to first die, deny himself. Take up cross mean death. <laughs> he said you must first die. You can't serve God good and nothing give way. Anybody's going to serve God something got to die. Flesh got to die. Self got to die. Oh Shia. Tell your neighbor the brazen altar means repentance. Anybody's going to serve God the first furniture. You got to repent. Oh, slap somebody beside you and say, Bishop is preaching to you. Repent. If you don't know how to repent, you're not serving God. If any man is going to serve God, repentance must be in your life. Ask your neighbor, when was the last time you repent? Paul said you must die daily. Shia basa. So anybody's going to serve God, the first furniture is the brazen altar. And that's where flesh is slain. Anybody's going to serve God, you have to give up stuff. You can't say I serve God and you are the same girl you used to be. You can't say you serve God and you're going the same place you used to go, doing the same things you used to do. If anybody is going to serve God, you got to slay flesh first. Outside. And you're not in our kingdom yet. So repentance don't make you save. Repentance is preparing you for salvation. So you have to first decide, me done God. God, me a break a chip and dash away. God, him have a chung hole for me, God. Oh, sure. Am I in church tonight? Oh, reach your neighbor, say, neighbor, repentance. John say you must repent if you don't repent no kingdom if you want the kingdom of God to come in your life you must repent no repentance no kingdom first dimension in God is self denial is giving up the things you love is to letting go from the things that you are attached to of this world. You come for a word from God. And that's in the way. That's in the way. So, you, no cure how you repent. Repentance no mean you save. 
You can repent and God come and you're still going to hell. Because repentance is just a part, not it, a part. So, repentance. Let somebody tell him you have to go to the altar. Something must die. You must make a sacrifice. If you're going to serve God, you must make a sacrifice. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you need to raise up your altar, your brazen altar, and something must give way. If you're going to serve God in this time, you must, you must. You, in the old covenant, you can't come before God empty-handed. You have to bring a sacrifice. In the New Testament, you can't come to God with your old self. you got to give it up. Oh, sure. Thank you, Jesus. So, the first dimension in God is repentance. If you don't learn repentance, you are still a part of the world. Come on, let it soak. If you don't learn repentance, you are just coming to church in pretty clothes. Oh, Shia, Messiah. Oh, Jesus, where is the church? Somebody is getting nervous. <laughs> oh, Jesus, somebody is feeling a little bit nervous. I don't mind because that will bring you into repentance. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I said, Lord, help me to repent daily. Help me to slay something daily because I must mortify the days of the flesh. Oh God, every now and then have to sit on me, Holy Ghost. When the flesh want to act up, sit on me, Holy Ghost. When me lip a jump, sit on me, Holy Ghost. When temptation come my way, where is the Christians in here that know what I'm talking about? Throw your head back up your mouth and say, Holy Ghost, sit down by me. Because if you are not sitting on me, I surely gonna mess up. Who am I talking to as if some of you never mess up before? Oh, Shia. And if you never make any mistake, you really never see it. Because you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Come on, warriors, this kind of tight man. This one is deep, you know. I tried to do it in five minutes and ten gone. Oh, I'm just at number one. So let me run, please. And so he said, Moses, do it according to my pattern. And this is God's pattern. Come on, tell somebody it's God's pattern pattern. You can cut it. You can trim it. You can go on it. You can go under. You can go over a God say so. I don't care what your pastor say. A God say so. Prison I first. Where is the believers in here, man? Come on, touch somebody, tell them, real church, real church, preach repentance. Come on, tell them about repentance, Mark the Lord. We all got to repent. I don't care what office you hold. We all have to to repent. I don't care how much education. I don't care your level of degree. It could hurt so till like thermometer. We all got to repent. Oh, Shia. Repentance. Brazen an altar. Tell your neighbor, everybody need your altar. Ask your neighbor, you have yours? Oh, Shia. Come on, Paul say, I beseech you, brethren. Oh, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Let Holy Ghost fall on the sacrifice. Let fire burn the flesh. Let Holy Ghost sit on panny. And if Holy Ghost let them pan the flesh, the flesh are gonna get trouble. Who am I talking to? I want to run, but I can't move because I'm speaking to somebody. I said, let the Holy Ghost fire. Ross. 
Oh, Shanda. Drag somebody and say, Holy Ghost, I talk to you. Don't go on like you don't know, sir. Come on, Holy Ghost, I speak to you. I would run gone a long time, but I can't move. Because Holy Ghost have me at the praise and altar. And Jesus said, if any man is going to come after me, he has to first. Come on, tell somebody first. First. God said, this first. You can't go around this. This first. Repentance first. Surrender first. Dying first. Slay the flesh first. Oh, God, use me. I want to be great. I want you. Repentance. Mm. Something is moving in this house because some, when the word is preached, they hide under the bench. Some, when the word is preached, they hide behind the chair, they hide behind the music, they hide behind the box, they hide behind the Bible. But I stop by to tell you, you can run from this one if you're gonna serve God, you got to. First, deny yourself, and if you don't slay flesh, heaven don't know you. You are a thief and a robber. Yes, you can feel it now. You see, Deacon is moving now. Somebody just here. Oh, Shia. Somebody just here. You know, somebody just get the word. Repentance mark the word. If God is going to raise you up, you got to go from the way. Jesus said, I am the way. Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Oh, Shia. Drag somebody, tell them, come out from among them. Be separate. The child of God, man, come out. Don't let the religious folks fool you that you can serve God the same way you used to in the world. Come out from among them. You're the child of God. Get rid of Jesse from your face. Get rid of Jesse from your hair. Get rid of Jesse. Take off Jesse clothes. And come out from among them. Oh, Shia. Be he holy. Where is the warrior? This kind of tight. It's kind of tight. Where is the worshippers in here? If you're serving God, come out from among them. Touch not the unclean things. Oh, Shia. Clothes they used to wear. You can't wear them no more. Oh, Shia. Pool party done with. Club done with. Your knickers tight. Where is the warriors in here? You better open your mouth in a man. Oh, Shanda Messiah. If God be God, the way. You know, make them new pastor, yeah. And because they have 20,000 on Facebook. And because they have big mega church. And when you see how we hold them a dress and them pants tight, yeah. Oh, Shia, don't look at me like that, man. You need a whole time preacher. Where is the warriors in here? If a God you are served, come out. Let go. If you're black, don't try to get brown. Oh, God, them hit me again. Oh, Shia. Jesse, no more Robin, man. 
All right, sit down. Somebody's nervous. Let me preach what God sent me to preach. You need a John the Baptist in your life. If you want to make it, you need a John the Baptist in your life. That's going to tell you, get out the strings and the drinks and the blings. You are a Christian. Come out from among them. Let Holy Ghost take you over. Don't look at me like that. You are in church. You have too much jelly back preacher. They are afraid to tell you the truth because you're going to pack up and go to the church on the corner. I don't mind. I need a remnant. I'm not too worried about cloud. I'm worried about the remnant. And God said there is a remnant that is reserved to preserve the legacy of true Christianity. Oh, Shia. Where is the wire? Is it tighty, man? It's tighty. And here the liar demands them. No, no. I don't want to hear those kind of preachers because they're so religious. Religious who are? talking about religious i'm preaching righteousness to save from the demons them because the demons them demonize you and have your walking weakness and god said come out from among them and be separate and touch not that's way. take it off here is the warriors in a joint are we God beautify the meek with salvation. Oh, where is the real Christians in here? It's kind of tight because they Americanized. Oh, Shanda. I say, Miss Assam. Because if, if America sneeze, Jamaica catch coal. But slap your neighbor, say neighbor. You have real Christians here, baby. You have real apostolics here, baby. You have real people of God here that America can't influence. Where is the warriors in here? Evangelist Blackham. Hear them now. Bishop Baker. If you practice to speak proper English, your congregation will grow larger. I said, well, God did not send me to them. God sent me to a nation named Jamaica. And when I talk to Jamaican, I don't have to try to sound like American. A Jamaican, yeah, me day. And when me do a Jamaican, yeah. It's kind of flat. I don't need to pretty up. And I don't need to practice your grammar and I don't need oh slap your neighbor say without holiness can no man see God the first step to God is repentance oh tell your neighbor the first step to God are taking off you don't believe me he said Moses take it off Oh, Shia. Oh, slap somebody. Say, if you're going to serve God, you got to take off something. What God is telling you to take off. He said, Moses, take off the shoe from off thy feet. Because Moses, you see, you have tried some place. And I have new places to send you. And the shoes where you have on is not good enough to over there. So take off your shoe. Get used to who? Holiness, walk in a righteousness, walk in a holiness. Drag your neighbor, say, neighbor, a holiness time now, a God time now, a righteousness time now. And who may I preach to? Who may I preach to? You better slap somebody and tell them no business where they must say to you. Look here, who won't bring your pass? Your pass is under your bl under the blood of Jesus. So now don't make them paint your pass to you. Get up and brush off and walk into holiness. I don't care who I say what you are playing or where you try. You better reach to somebody and tell them the days of playing church are 
over if a God you are set. Pull somebody in the man. Pull somebody in the man. Speak to somebody in the man. Oh, Shia. If you're going to serve God in these days, you got to give up some stuff. You got to let go some people. Those who are pulling you as you let them go. Disconnect yourself. Who am I preaching to? Can two walk together? Oh, where is the believer? Somebody throw your head back, no man. Open your mouth and cut away. Separate yourself. Where is the warriors of who Holy Ghost are talking to? Who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? Evil communication. Corrupt good man. Who am I preaching to? You got to cut with some people. Cut with the tail bearer. If you keep company with a liar, a liar you're going to become. If you keep company with a tail bearer, a tail bearer, you shall be. Who am I preaching to? If you keep company with a faggot. Oh, me a man. If you keep company with a fornicator, oh Shanda, drag somebody now and say, God said to tell you, oh Shanda, a altar time, raise up your altar. Who am I preaching to, man? And sacrifice must be made at the altar. Where is the worshippers? Kinda too tight. I'm preaching to somebody in a man. You got to cut loose in a man. Change your cell number. Oh, Shire. He that have an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of God have to say to the church. I cut loose time now. A division time now. A walk away time now. Because the angels of God are with you. And the angels of the Lord, they are not waiting on you. I'm calling for the sons of Issachar. The sons of Issachar, they study time. Oh, Shanda. And when you know it's a high time, when you know it's a God time, a righteous time, a Holy Ghost time, a fire time, a power time, a 19 time, cut the way, yes. Warriors, where are you, man? Warriors, where are you? Last days, warriors, where are you? Remnant, where are you? Remnant, where are you? There's a remnant. There's a remnant that say we will not bow. Oh, Shia, where is the believers in here? Open your mouth and say we will not bow. We now bow to alcohol drinking. Lord God, Bishop, drag somebody and say, We're not poor. We're not poor. We're not buying no cash pot. We're not poor. We're not going on no lucky dollar. We're not going in no cash pot line. No lato line. Somebody say, We're not poor. We're not poor. There's a remnant. I come here to speak to the remnant. 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 Shed rock. Me shock. And Abednego. So we will not bow. And not everybody in the church are fornicate. Where is the warriors in here? I said, not everybody in the church are commit adultery. I know everybody in the church lie. I know everybody in the church thief. I know everybody in the church wicked. I know everybody in the church are hiding about young. There is a rap Shia. Yamashia. Yeah, pa, 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 sa. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. You can live holy. You can live right. You can please God. No answer then call. 
no reply to their message black and delete it's time to please God it's time to let God feel good it's time to show God that you are grateful who am I preaching to throw your head back warriors if you love God say something those who are on the Lord's side give God a real praise in here tell your neighbor you can make it tell them you can make it you can live right. Shia. Why do I need to live right? Why do I need to please God? Tell your neighbor you are not alone. That's why. You have your partners with you. Oh, Shia. Tell your neighbor you are not alone. Heaven is with you. There are angels that are assigned to you. You are not alone. There are angels that were, that receive charge over you. There are angels that God put an assignment to make sure no demon can kill you. No demon can stop you. There are angels giving assignment to back you up. And if you don't stand up for God, them can't stand up for you. Warriors! Where is the worshippers? Where is the worshippers? Drag somebody and tell them they that are with us are more than they that are against us. So don't displease. Don't let your angel get angry. He said, Moses, Moses, I've given my angels charge to go before you as a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of clothes by day. But Moses, don't grieve the angel. Because my name is in the angel and God says his name is holy. I feel him in my hands. I feel the Holy Ghost stretching out in me. I hear God I say, Well done, son. Preach it until they vomit all them demons. Oh Shia. Shanda Messiah. Yeah, Messiah. Come on, reach your neighbor. Say, neighbor, don't grieve your angel. Don't grieve your angel. Because the name of the Lord is in him. Oh Shia. Come on, man. Drag somebody and tell them, Are you Bishop of Priest? Don't look at nobody. Don't think about nobody. Are you? Ushaya. Shanda Messiah. No grieve your angel. I said, No grieve your angel. Your angel carried the name of Jesus in him. And the name of Jesus is holy. And he said, Don't take the name name of the Lord in vain for he that take it the name of the Lord in vain he will not hold you guiltless who am I talking to drag somebody and tell them say the name of God signify righteousness the name of God means holiness and if you take it on and I live up to the name angel I go grieve with you and when you think of somebody I order you and your angel angry with you who am I preaching to man who am I preaching to man drag somebody man drag somebody drag somebody and tell them to dance out this oh shy no laugh out this now jump out this where is the warriors because them have a way to hide out the message them have a way to gimmicks out the message them have a way to hide the word when the word has come direct to them them have fight the word but God said no hide this word yeah. this word might be the word that's going to transform your life the attack that you're under this might be the word that's going to give you the victory the name of the Lord is holiness. Take not the name of the Lord in vain. 
when you go to that water and you lift your right hand it was a contract a vow you and heaven enters into a vow into a contract and you must make sure you pay your vow because God is ain't gonna hold you guiltless you don't hear what I say when you baptize in Jesus name you take on the name of Jesus and the name of Jesus signify righteousness and if you think you can get up and walk out and live anyhow. And you get away, you make a sad mistake. The angel carries judgment in him. Shia Baba Basaya. Yamasaya. Shanda Messiah, you better drag somebody and tell them this is an angelic ministry, you know. Oh, Shia, and the angel of the Lord is with you, writing down everything. The angel of the Lord is with you, they're watching every move, and they are bringing with poets. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? You better shake somebody and wear them up in here. Wake up them that are asleep. Come on, no man, it's flat. Deacon. Run, go wake up about 10 somebody and come back. Run, go wake up about 10 somebody. Run, go wake them up. Run, go wake them up, missionary. Run, go wake them up. Elder, go wake up about 10. Evangelist, go wake up about 5 of them. Preacher, go wake up about 10 of them. High time. Come out of your sleep. Get out of your slumber. A God time now. A righteousness time now. A gift time now. A ministry time now. A time where the year turns. I threw a fire from the altar. Gonna raise up voices. Thunderings. And lightnings. God want you to just shake. Oh, Shanda. Mr. God, why are you just to shake your community? Shake your family. Shake your friends. Open your mouth. Wake up, man. Wake up. A rapture time. Wake up. A judgment time. Wake up. A God time. He that have an ear to hear. Not everybody can wake up. Some dead, some in a spiritual slumber, some in a coma. Deacon, somebody still not wake up. Go wake them up out of their sleep. Shandamasa, Yamasa, it's high time to awake, get up, come out of the flesh. It's Holy Ghost time. Get up. Rise and shine. Give God the glory. The angel of the Lord. They are ready to do our fear. Get up. Yamasa. Shanda. Seek ye first, man. Seek ye first. You need some holiness, man. You need some righteousness, man. You can't live holy. You can't live right. You know a holy church. Oh, sire. You have a holy Bible. You have a holy ghost. Warriors, where are you, man? If you have the Holy Ghost, if you have the Holy Bible, if you have a holy church, you must can live holy. Oh, Shanda, holiness unto the Lord is our watchword and song. Without holiness, can no man see God. Shayabasa. Yamasaya. Shayabasa. Everybody in this house. Let's go to the brazen 
altar right now. Everybody in this house that desire to serve God, let us go to the brazen altar. Let the fire of God fall on us. You can make it. Give it up tonight. Leave it at the altar tonight. Get rid of the malice tonight. I said, get rid of the malice tonight. Get rid of the demon I lost tonight. Get rid of the sex demons tonight. Get rid of the pornography demons tonight. Come off of the sides tonight. God said, give it up tonight. Shia Basaya. Yamasaya. Yeah, papa, pa, pa, give up stealing. I said, give it up tonight. Give up lying. Give up hate. Forgive, and it shall be forgiven you. Come on, judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not. Blessed are the merciful, for you shall obtain mercy come on somebody when the weakest christian get on the knees every demon in hell tremble i said when the weakest christian get on the knees come on somebody get ready shia basaya there is an angel come on that take all the priors of the saints come on there's an angel at the altar tonight he's here to take your prayer don't be afraid to pray don't be ashamed to pray come on pray come on there's a demon fighting your prayer life i said there's a demon fighting your prayer life every time you try to pray the demon a confusion he find you to sleep he frustrate you he can't try that tonight too much fire in the house tonight he can't block a prayer tonight the angels are here to take a prayer come on somebody get radical open your mouth pray 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 come on reach out reach out it's an angelic ministry there's an angel here to take a prayer no demon can touch it Shanda and you will have the Holy Ghost there is two kind of prayer there's a natural prayer and there's a spiritual prayer come on get in the Holy Ghost and pray for he that prayeth in tongues speaketh mystery and no man understandeth him but in the spirit he speaketh secret truth I said get in the Holy Ghost talk to God in heavenly language your angel is here to take your prayer Come on! Reach out! Touch the hem! Reach out and touch him! Somebody's reaching out! Somebody's reaching out! Somebody touching Jesus tonight! Touching Jesus is all that really matters! Come on, warriors. Come on. Don't give up. Don't give in. Come on, somebody, open your mouth. I said, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. When Solomon finished the house of the Lord. Come on, warriors. Come on. And all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord. Come on. Come on. Come on. The Lord appeared unto Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and I have chosen this place to myself 
for a host of sacrifice. Come on, somebody, offer up your bodies as a living sacrifice. He said, If I shut up heaven, come on, that there is no rain, or if I command locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people if my people if my people which are called by my name come on jesus name people come on jesus name people come on people that are called by the name of jesus if my people which are called by my name shall humble don't be afraid to go down on your face. Don't be ashamed to go down on your knee. Don't be afraid to bow before God. Humble yourself and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Get rid of the religious spirit and all the sex are sin. Get rid of the religious spirit. You're sitting in your mind. You're sitting in your thought. And you're sitting in your action. Come on. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Come on, somebody, get down before God. Humble yourself before God. If you need help, if your children need deliverance, if you need a move from God, you got to first deny, humble yourself. Open your mouth and pray. I say, open your mouth and pray. Seek the face of God tonight. I say, seek the face of God tonight. Say something to God tonight. Let your request known to God tonight. Talk to God tonight. I say, talk to God tonight. Reach out and touch Him tonight. Say something to God tonight. Only God can help you. Only God can fix you. Only God can do it. Only God can do it for you. Reach out. Seek his fears. Give up. Give it up. Let him go. Give him up. Ushaya. Shanda. Yamasaya. Yapapasa. Then will I hear from heaven I will forgive your sins and I'll turn things around for you I'll heal your sick body I'll heal you I'll heal your children I'll heal your family member I'll heal your bank account I'll heal your communication skill. I'll heal your mind. I'll heal your feelings. I'll heal your desires. I'll heal your character. I'll make you a new creature. I'll turn your life around. Shaya Baba Basa. Yamasaya. Yeah, Papa pa, Sire. Now my eyes shall be upon you. Mine ears shall attend unto your prayers that you have made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctify you. Shaya Basa that my name shall be on your forehead mine eyes and my heart shall be in this house perpetually yes and as for you if you will walk before me tonight says the lord as thy father David walk 
and do according to all that I have commanded you and shall observe all my word and my judgment then I will establish you when the enemy come in against you one way I will scatter them seven different ways Shayabasa because the angel of the Lord shall go before you as a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of clouds by day Shia Messiah yes the promises of the Lord shall be accomplished in your life because you turn from your wicked ways pick up somebody from the altar pick up somebody from the altar pick them up pick up somebody and say rise and shine and give God the glory oh Shia I have raised up an altar tonight anybody feel like you raise up an altar tonight anybody feel like you raise up an altar tonight anybody feel like you raise up a holy altar tonight an altar with fire well God said let not your fire go out never let the flame go out keep the flame alive oh shire find 10 people in here speak to 10 people tell them god to keep the flame alive never let the fire go out keep the flame alive keep the flame alive never let the fire go out 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 walk in this righteousness walk in the holiness of god you can do it walk in it never let the flame go out shire yeah messiah yeah ba, 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 sha. where is the warriors man warriors 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 keep the flame alive keep the flame alive Keep the flame alive. Keep the flame alive. Keep the flame alive. Keep the flame alive. Let it burn up with scoff. Burn up sorcery. Burn up black magic. Let it burn up everything that comes before you. The fire of God will destroy the works of darkness. Clap your hands. Open your mouth and celebrate. Warriors, open your mouth and celebrate. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Come on, somebody, lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. Lift Jesus higher. He said, if I be lifted up from this earth, I'll draw you to a new dimension. I take you where the devil can't touch you. He said, I take you so high where the demons can do you no harm. Is there anybody in your field? The pull of God. Anybody feel the pull of God? He's pulling you into his belly. He's pulling you where the devil can find you. Shia Basa. Keep the flame alive preacher come here there's a place in God I have experience I pray and when I come out of prayer all the demons that was assigned to fight me were looking for me and couldn't find me I walked past them and I don't realize it's me where is the warriors in here? Where is the worshippers in here? There's a place in God you're walking and demons will find you for true thoughts in your mind. Wants to tempt you, want to try you, can't find you. Oh, Shia, where is the believers that know what I'm talking about? That know what I'm talking about? He said, come, come. The spirit and the bride say, 
come come to a place where Satan can't find you he's looking but he don't know where you are and when you're around there he can't talk to you come on touch your neighbor say neighbor behind the veil the devil can't come around there where is the believers? No demons can come around there. They can't come around there to tempt you. Come on, no man. Pull it somebody, no man. Pull it somebody, no man. There is no mind fight around there. There is no flesh struggle around there. Where is the believers? I know what I'm talking. Where's the believers that know what I'm talking? As he was in the world, so shall you be in the world. And I shall. There are dimensions when you speak. No demons can hear your conversation. Come on, pull somebody. Oh, shall I wish the church will come with me. I said, when you speak, no demons can hear your conversation. And anytime God allow them to hear, they believe it's Jesus talking. Where is the worshipers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Up me a mouth if I know where I'm going. Come on, man. When you speak, the demons believe it's Jesus talking. Oh, touch your neighbor said that's why you must know the word because that will give you away when you misquote the scripture they'll know that oh, 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 oh that's not Jesus somebody wonder is who 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 because Jesus knows the scripture he's the word so we must study the word so when you are in the realms operating they believe it's Jesus come on the scene and operate them and run up and down and I cry. Oh Jesus, where is the warriors in here, man? Where is the believers in here? Where is the believers in here? Up me a mouth and give God a high praise in here. Up me a mouth and magnify God. Shaya Basa. We're gonna close in prayer. I think it's done for tonight. That's enough. Tell anybody that's enough for tonight. Squeeze that hand and tell him that's enough for tonight. Squeeze that hand. Hold on. Touch and connect. Touch and connect. Touch and connect. Hold. Hold hands. Touch and connect. Yes, that's it. Touch and connect. Touch and connect. God is calling the church to come higher. Come to a place. You experience the glory, the way. Somebody said from faith to the anointing. And from the anointing to the glory. Your miracle is in the glory. Your deliverance, your healing, your breakthrough is in the glory. When you flow from the glory level, everything becomes easy. Where is the believers that know what I'm talking about? Shia. Come and pull somebody and say, just pull a destiny helper on you. Pull somebody and say, I just pull. The ministry of strangers and you I just pull your angel to reveal himself to you oh sha shaya basa ya masaya ya pa 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 saya shanda that's it over there that's it over there on your mouth and say something on your mouth and shout again on your mouth and shout again on your mouth and shout Shia squeeze that hand again I'm asking God for something for you tonight squeeze that hand squeeze that hand squeeze that hand I have a request squeeze that hand squeeze that hand squeeze that hand it's the ministry of angels. It's the ministry of angels. It's the ministry of angels. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, please. I'm asking you, Shaya I'm asking you.
to open their eyes that they may see that they are more with us than they that are against us. Shia, anybody want God to open your eye? Open, open my eye, open my eye, open my eye, not the physical eye. I need the eye of discerning to pop. Shia, Basa, I need the eye of understanding to pop. You have more than two eyes, you have more than two eyes. Come on, come with me, no man, come. The eyes of discerning, pop it open, Jesus. The eyes of understanding. Shia, I need to see my angels. Come talk with me. We are together in this. We are partners. Warriors, open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and talk to God. It is His will. Oh, Shia, Shanda, Yamasaya. Where are the worshippers? Say something in here. Where are the believers? Open your mouth if you know what I'm talking about. Open your mouth. Shanda. Yamamasa. Say something. Shai Abasa. Yes. Yes. My God, yes. You see that? Yes. The amount of angels. The amount of angels in this house right now standing beside you. Can you see? Lord, open their eyes. Oh, Shia, that they may see. Come on, somebody say something. Open your mouth. Give God another praise in here. Give the Lord another. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's him. Yes, sir. Oh, Shia, Basa. Open your mouth and magnify God in here. Yes, 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 yes. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Somebody wave your hands and celebrate the king. I say raise your hands and magnify the king. Come drink this, son. Come drink this. Come drink this. The weakness in your body. Come and drink this. Come and drink this. Come and drink this for the weakness in your body. Come drink this. Shia, blood and fire, Holy Ghost. Shia, drink it and take some strength. Take strength. Drink it and take strength. What the doctor can give you, take it. What medication can give you, take it. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Warrior, say something, no man. Worshipper, say something in here. Throw your head back, open your mouth. It's not by mind, not by power. Oh, Sha. It's by my spirit. Oh. Preach around, come here, put this on your belly. See how they're behind the young man. Put it on your belly. Shia Basa. No, 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 no. Put it on her belly, her belly, her belly. Run, come here, preacher. Run, come here. Run, come, run. Yes, sir. Come on, warrior. Say something. That's it. That's it. God is doing it right now. Holy Ghost is doing it right now. Where is the believers? Right now. God is doing it right. Right. Now. Open your mouth. Show your head back. Release another praise. Release another praise. Release another praise. Up me your mouth and shabak. Yada. Run, come here, preacher. Tell that missionary there in the blue. Tell her, I said, God say, her healing is complete. Oh. Mm. No, foot, 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 foot. Foot, preacher, foot. Somebody say something, man. It's kind of too tight. It's kind of too tight. It's kind of too tight. Complete. Complete.
complete warriors where are you worship us where are you worship us where are you shire that lady you're gonna take time and take it off like this and tell her that speed tell her that god say speed speed really speed oh shire speed speed strokes recovery 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 speed oh shanda basha ya masaya my god my god somebody says speed holy ghost declare he was wounded for your transgressions bruised for your iniquities the chastisement of your peace was upon the lord jesus christ and by his stripes complete deliverance no witch can hold you down i said no curse can hold you down no object can keep you back complete recovery recovery of health oh speed somebody two hands in the air man say something and celebrate the kingdom man celebrate the kingdom man oh watch this run come here run come here run come here stretch out your two hands i'm giving you 14 days oh shire what's that shire 14 days five hundred thousand god i release in your hand warrior say something my god where is the warriors in here where is the warriors in here pop the door wide open somebody burst the door wide open ministry of strangers ministry of strangers ministry of strangers oh shire somebody said a testimony gone wide high oh shire somebody clap your hands man open your mouth it's kind of too tight open your mouth man open your mouth say something in here say something in here shire yes daddy i'll do exactly what you said daddy back in back in in negril savlama we want to buy six we're planning to buy six box for the church down there anybody hear the testimony that god bless us with four thousand cheers where is the warriors in here man you don't hear what bishop said the lord bless us with four thousand cheers so you know say every church i got the same type of cheer where is the believer say something number no, up your mouth man is kind of too tight Shire. and so i asked the church in negril to sow a seed towards the 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 speaker box i want to buy six EV box. Somebody say EV. We don't want to buy nothing or we don't want to buy EV box. Oh, Shire. And it's unfair to ask Negril to sow their seed and Black Kingston from theirs. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Where is the warriors in there? Somebody say anything. Anywhere they egg them, they have to eat the red. Where is the warriors? Say something in here, man. Open your mouth. So all who feel it in your spirit, if you don't feel it, tear your seat. If you're covetous, I mean, don't come, please. But those who understand that if you sow to the spirit, you will reap eternal life. If you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. We want the box them. Help me on here. Where is the believer? Say something, man. Say something, man. Say something. We want to buy the EV box? Say something. Come on, somebody else. Come, just said, I'm raising up my altar. 
as you come, I'm right. I'm just putting something on the altar. Where is the believers? Put something on the altar. The devil is a liar. Shaya basa. Yamasaya. Shaya basaya. Yes. And I feel somebody over there, brother Evangelist Blackham. I feel somebody on the YouTube and the Facebook. And they are saying, I'm sowing my seed. See, I'm sowing my seed. See, I'm sowing my seed. Come on, warrior. See, I'm sowing my seed. Go ahead and sow it above. Sow it in love. Shire. It's not going nowhere but to the kingdom of God. When you sow this seed, every time we come live, every time I take a mic, every time I preach a message back down there, you got to be benefit because it's coming through the box that you sow. Where is the believers in here? Open your mouth and give God a good praise. Somebody clap your hands and shout again. Clap your hands and magnify God. Come on, man. It's kind of too tight. It's kind of too tight. Shayabasa. Evangelist Wilson. Take one of my water there and carry that this man and tell him, say, God, I heal him. See that man that sit down there? Tell him God is healing his body. Come on, warrior, say something. Yes. Tell him, say, Jesus, I fix him prostrate and he eye him tonight. Shia, stretch your hands towards where somebody's coming. Come on, worshipers, keep the praises flowing. Come on, keep the praises flowing. Come on, keep the praises flowing. Shia Basaya. Ayabasa. Come on, somebody say something in here. Say something in here. Say something in here, warriors. Say something in here, warriors. Say something in here, warriors. It's not by might, not by power. It is by my spirit, says the Lord. Stretch your hands. Eternal God and our King. Master, Creator, Lord. Your words declare in Genesis 8.22. I am a son. As long as the earth remain, there will be summer, winter, day, night. There will be seed time and harvest time. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Money is a seed. And Father, your children come before you tonight. They so praise. They so worship. They so listening. And God, they also so money. In the name of Jesus Christ, tonight I ask you, God, these monies that your children sow, I pray as your word promise. Oh God, some will reap 30 folds. Some will reap 60 folds. And some will reap a hundred fold. Father, please tonight release a hundred times the money your people so tonight please i give it to you shia basa please give it back to them press down shaken together and running over father we thank you for doing it somebody clap your hands and believe god in this house come on clap your hands and believe god in this house come on clap your hands and believe god in this house there's a secret there is a secret that not every Christian know. There are different kinds of seed and there are different kinds of harvest. Prayer and fasting is not the seed of money. 
Prayer and fasting is the seed for deliverance from demonic oppressions and sicknesses. Listening is the seed for knowledge. The person who listen and read a lot will have a lot of knowledge. There is a seed for every harvest. You hear me? Whatsoever seed you sow, that's the harvest you're going to reap. That's the reason why when you come to church, you will know people who pray a lot. Prayer mothers and prayer warriors, and they are poor, and you wonder why. It's because prayer is not the seed for wealth. You're coming with me. The persons that are mean, stingy, will always have a luck problem. Whatever you're stingy with, you will never really receive a harvest of that. If you don't forgive, you will never receive the harvest of forgiveness. If you sow judgment, you shall be judged. It's a seed. If you love not, it's a seed. If you sow fellowship, you will reap. Is there anybody in here understand what I'm talking about? The woman only have two pence. The woman only have two pence, money. Two pence, two dineros. And she took all of her two pence and sowed it in the offering. Jesus was standing at the offering plate. You know what Jesus said when the woman saw all she had? Jesus said, this woman is more blessed than everybody else. You know why? Because that sowing, God who sees in secret will reward her openly. God will just send somebody from nowhere to bless her. The, spirit, the, the ministry of strangers. Clap your hands, open your mouth. Give God a praise in here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Is there one person that is not yet baptized in Jesus' name? Now is the time to give your life to the Lord if you're not yet baptized. Now is your moment. Everybody stand. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King, we honor you one more time, God. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your word. Oh, God, we thank you for the revelation that you have revealed unto us tonight, God. We thank you, oh, God Almighty, for all that you have said and done. Your healing power, your deliverance. Oh, God, we thank you for a fresh touch. Father, it was good for us to be here to partake of your blessing. God Almighty, we thank you for your strength. Oh God, we thank you for the anointing that destroys the yoke ah, that the enemy has placed upon the mind and the spirit of your people. We thank you one more time, God Almighty, for showing up in our midst. We thank you for your man's servant, oh God, that you use, oh God, to glorify your name, oh God, as we are about to separate one from another, cover every vehicle. No accident will come against every plan of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, no weapon. That is formed against us believers, our family members, our neighbors, shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. Father, give your angels charge to go before us and make our prostrate. While we humble ourselves, exalt your people in Jesus' name. Amen.